My name is Barbara Marsh, and today I'm going to show you how I make my beautiful dichroic glass wine stoppers, or bottle stoppers, such as these. The process includes four basic steps. I cut and shape the glass that I've chosen, I arrange the layers, I fire the glass in a special kiln, and once the glass is cooled, I attach it to the wine stopper with a special glue. I buy the glass in sheets of thin glass like window pane. It's available in beautiful colors and textures, such as the ones I have here on the table. My first step is to try to shape a circle that will fit on top of this wine stopper. I need to score the glass like this. And then use running pliers such as these to cut along or to break along the, the score line. Now I have this nice straight cut. I'll need to cut it again to make the square. And I usually will nip a little piece off the corners to reduce the amount of glass that's lost to grinding. Now I'm going to grind my blue octagon and try to make it into a nice circle. How am I doing? Let's see. That's pretty good. Actually, it's quite good. We'll stay with that and move on. I have to refine this circle a little. Let's see if I'm more on target this time. This looks like a pretty good circle, so I'm going to clean this piece up, layer it with the blue, put it in the kiln, and fire it. In order to keep the glass from shifting in the kiln, I use hairspray, which is clear and will burn off in the kiln, to keep the pieces together. Now I'll allow this to dry and then transfer it to the kiln. This is my kiln. There's a heating element in the lid and a specially treated shelf that has a substance on it so that the glass does not stick when it melts. I'll turn the temperature on, first medium. And then I'll raise it gradually to allow the kiln to reach a temperature of 1500 degrees Fahrenheit gradually. Keep it at that temperature for about 30 minutes. Lower the temperature to about 900 degrees for another half hour. And then turn the kiln off to allow the glass to cool fully at a slow rate. Good morning. I let the kiln cool overnight and now I'm going to open it up and see how the pieces turned out. Okay, the time has come to glue the glass to the wine stopper. 
I use a special glue called E6000, which is extremely durable and strong, and it dries clear. I put a small amount of glue on the stopper, put the cabochon on top, move it around to spread the glue, and this is what it will look like when it dries. These are the two bottle stoppers I just made. I only use kitchen grade stainless steel wine stoppers, which I get from Niles Stoppers at www.nilesbottlestoppers.com. This is a small selection of my other dichroic glass wine stoppers. To see some more of my wine stoppers, as well as my dichroic glass jeweler creations, please visit my photo site www.flickr.com slash photos slash Barbara Marsh slash sets or email me at barita at aol.com. Thank you for watching.